let's face it, alright? Everybody has this kind of power bank at home that you use to charge up your phone, even when you have a charger at home. Today's video will be about lithium ion batteries. And what I have right here is a MCR1860B 3400 mAh battery. And it's one of the highest battery capacities in the market. And in this power bank, you can fit three of those cells in there. One, two, and three. So what's the gist? Why do you need to make such videos? Well, batteries have limited lifespan, right? And this right here has dropped 2.5 times the capacity. We are going to test this highest, not the highest, but one of the highest commercially available lithium ion batteries that I can buy very easily off the internet. Another product by Macro Electronics. This time is the MCR 18650B by Panasonic. It's a high capacity lithium ion battery with a capacity of whooping 3,400 mAh. So this is a Sanyo battery which has a capacity of 2,500 mAh and it's the exact same size. So you can tell how 13 years have changed in such. A very nice bu bubble wrap. It's actually very good for battery protection. There we go. As always, very nice storage for the battery. And there we go. Behold our MCR1860 battery. MH12210. The polarity, the plus and minus. And you can see this a flat top. Warning, battery may explode or fire if mistreated. Do not disassemble or dispose of in fire. Okay, this makes sense. Do not charge except specified charging condition. Do not heat above 212 degrees Fahrenheit. I guess that's 100 degrees, right? Or short circuit. And also, do not crush or modify. Maybe like a, maybe you know those hydraulic thingy they put on the videos made in Japan. Let's inspect the battery first. Overall, I do see a little bit of um, plastic deformation here, but I think this is fine. Now the weight of the battery, 2500 mAh battery pack from 13 years ago, and it weighs 46 grams. This is the NCR 18650P, and it weighs 47 grams. So it is very close to the 48.5 gram they mentioned. At a voltage of 3.8 volts plus or minus 0 0.05 volts. So we have our multimeter here and let's connect the battery. Negative and positive. Oh gosh, it's 3.49 only. So that is a little bit low. So how to charge it? This time I got my homemade battery pack with the thick wires for current measurement and charging. So it's basically just as easy as connecting the positive to the blue wire and the negative to the black wire. Just like this. And I'm just going to use my buck converter with a current measuring mode. Charging. CCCV standard 1.625 amps, 4.2 volts, 4 hours. Wow, it takes 4 hours. Okay, so the car voltage is set to 4.2 volts. The current is 1.7. I think we can just lower it down to maybe 1.6 amps for safety reason. 1.63 for slightly faster charging. Now let's connect the polarity correctly. Negative, negative, connect. There we go. You can see that it goes into constant current mode. So basically the voltage will rise. This way, when the voltage reaches 4.2 volts, the constant voltage will kick in. And now it's charging at 1.63 amps, constant current mode. All right, so the charging test is completed. So let's turn it off. And the battery settles at huh, 4.19 volts. So it's actually pretty close to the full voltage. And we'll do a 0.2C deep discharge test which basically means uh, 0.2 of this rated capacity. And now it's time to do the capacity test. 
And right, right here is a battery capacity tester. Comes with this two wires right here, which is the default way to measure the capacity. But a viewer suggests that I use four wires instead because the voltage drop on these two wires will be reflected on the on the screen and this means that it might affect the capacity reading for this battery which is 3400 mAh we have to discharge it at 0.2 C so 3400 times 0.2 is 680 so we have to lower this thing down to 680 So now it's set to 680 and the cutoff voltage is 2.5 volts that is by default for deep discharge battery types like for example this one. And now we have to clear the cumulative just to make sure that we don't have any raw values inside beforehand. And now I can slip the battery in like this, it gives us the voltage. Hmm, slightly off a little bit. And it is 4.157. It's very common for batteries to the voltage to drop over time. Let's go. Okay, the battery voltage drops a little bit. And we'll see you there when the capacity of the voltage reaches the cut of voltage, which is 2.5 volts. Right, so the super deep discharge test is finally over and the capacity came out to be 3,344 milliampere hours and a total energy of 11.998 watt hours. That is actually 3.59 volts. And it actually delivers with a minimum of 3,250 milliampere hours. And typically 3,350 milliampere hours is actually very close. That's actually very awesome. It's actually not fake though, because um, you know, quite a lot of eBay sellers tend to sell these type of batteries for cheap, but their capacity is only half of what they, they are rated. Now let's do a 1.7 amps discharge, 0.5 C rate at the initial voltage of 4.16. Let's turn it on. It's out and the capacity came out to be 3347 milliampere hour and energy of 11.896 watt hours 4.14 volts 1c discharge rate in 3 2 1 go there we go as expected for the 3.4m 1c capacity test the capacity came out slightly lower especially because of the lower start voltage at 4.14 volts but it still delivered 3,249 mAh hours and an energy of 11.265 watt hours, which is still only less than 5% within the actual capacity. And that is really amazing for this lithium ion battery. All right, so we're gonna do the 6.8 amps discharge rate, which is 2C, twice the rated capacity of this battery. And it's a very crazy current, 6.8 amps. But it's a good gauge to see whether it can survive the electric car acceleration from 0 to 60. In 3, 2, 1, start. Capacity is 3,272 milliampere hours. So it is still very close to the rated capacity of 3400. The energy in watt hours is slightly lower this time because the discharge time was much shorter than the voltage drop much quicker. Alright, so this sums it up. The Panasonic NCR 18650P definitely takes on the trophy for being one of the best batteries. It's amazing to see how battery technology has evolved over the years. And this battery packs a punch in this cylindrical size. High energy density, high capacity, high power density, and of course, the high discharge capabilities of up to 6.8 amps with minimal loss in the battery capacity. The cost of $11 per piece is definitely not worth the cheapest, but still one of the best reasonably priced batteries they can get off the market. 
for example, these batteries are used in a Tesla because of its high capacity energy density ratio. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you like this NCR 1860B review. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.